Okay. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a Ulta haul. It's not a massive Ulta haul, but I went and finally got some goodies from Ulta. I have not done, I don't think I've done any makeup shopping in like months, okay? Most of the makeup that I've opened up on here or skincare products or beauty care has been sent to me. So I actually physically went onto the Ulta website and bought some stuff. So we're gonna get right into what I got. It's not a lot of stuff, but it is some some newer goodies. Okay, what do we have? We have a big bag of samples, which we'll go through towards the end. And as always, everything will be listed down below in case you want quicker access to purchase it or anything like that. And they are affiliated, just to let you know. So the first thing I grabbed out is the Kinship Self Smooth 10% Glycolic Resurfacing Serum. Oh, can you see it? So it is, it exfoliates, brightens, and nourishes. Overnight sensation. So this is what it looks like. It's just like a liquid that you use, like a cotton round, and put it on your face. I'm gonna try it tonight. I don't smell it, but I'm assuming it is strawberry scented because it has a strawberry on the bottle. Item number two. So this one was really intriguing to me. Um, it is the Light Lock Highlighter Highlight Fluid and it's in the shade Turkish, Turkish Breakfast. But I honestly have no idea. It's from About Face. I think that's the company. If not, I'll put it down below. Eh, I saw it. And I wanted to get it a while ago and I was like, no. And then I saw it again and I was like, yeah. So I got it in Turkish Delight. This is like, yeah, it's called About Face. This is, this is pretty big. Oh, okay. So this just pops off. Don't be like me. It just pops off. And then it has a dropper to it. Ooh, that's pretty. We're gonna put a little here. It's a little darker than I thought it was gonna be. So it's a little bit more bronze, but that'll be fine. It is kind of really dark. Let's see with it rubbed in what it looks like. No, I think that'll be okay. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be stunning. As like a little highlighter, like a little highlighter moment. I don't know though if it's like, if I'm not mistaken, this is what I'm talking about. Like I just buy shit that I have no business buying because I don't even know what it is. I'm just like, oh, a highlighter? Mm, check. Molten crystal highlighting fluid, a light reflective pearl, suspended and weightless liquid creates beaming shine and a locked in glow layer for a high gloss lux luster. I think this is supposed to go under like your foundation. Just by the way like it rubbed in, it, I definitely think it's supposed to go under your foundation. Go to Ulta.com and see. Shake well and apply over and under makeup or mix with your favorite product for an instant dose of brilliance. Okay, so it is something that I could definitely mix with my foundation. So the next thing I have is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzer in the shade Caramel. So that's what the package looks like. So this is what it looks like. Does that look like it's been touched? No, it's really pretty. Oof, it's really creamy. And there's where it is. I just did a little swatch of Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I like it. It blended in very nicely too. It wasn't very patchy. I like that. So the next thing I got was actually the Jaclyn Hill or Jaclyn Cosmetics Strawberry Feels palette. Honestly, because I have not been filming and stuff and doing like a lot of makeup videos, I have not really been up to date on the makeup community, if that makes any sense. And so I literally got on like two weeks ago and realized that she's dropped like new makeup and I was like, oh, okay. Well, I want that. So I bought this. So this is that strawberry, what is it called? Strawberry Feels palette. So this is what it looks like. And this is the like metallic strawberry on it. Do not mind if you hear Emma crying. She's upset because she cannot be upstairs with me. So it doesn't come with a mirror, which is fine. I have tons of them, but it is a very lightweight packaging, but it's cute. I like it. I like the cute like simplicity of it. Um, no scent, which is nice. I was almost afraid it was gonna smell like fucking strawberries. So these are really pretty colors, especially with fall, like right here is gonna be my jam. Like that just like maroony, peachy, like just pinky color. I'm loving that. I'm gonna swatch this one and fresh pricked. <laughs> fresh picked. And let's do, let's do a dark one, berry whipped. So I swatched 
Picnic Pie, then I swatched Fresh Picked, and then I swatched Berry Whipped. So a light matte, a dark matte, and a shimmer. You have two shimmers in here, uh, Sugar Coated, which is like a champagne shimmer, and then Fresh Picked, and then you have a white, and then some light and dark mattes throughout. So let's swatch them on our hands and see what we get. Oh, wow. Fresh Picked actually was really, really nice on my hand. Like that swatched actually really well. So the Berry Whipped, which is the dark one, is a little bit patchy when I swatched it, but it's a swatch. We will try it out. If you guys want to see me using this palette, let me know. I mean, to be honest, I'm probably going to do a look with it anyway. So I mean, you don't have to let me know, but <laughs> you know, if you want to, you can. <laughs> I'm going to do it anyways. But it was a little patchy. So it, it's also a darker red. So I would like to say that um, reds are a little bit harder to achieve without patchiness, if that makes any sense. But we already knew that, okay? So this is the Physician's Formula. This is the matte bronzer. This is the newer one. This is the butter bronzer. I got it in the shade, let me tell you what. I got it in the shade Matte Deep. Do I look like I am deep tone? No, no, you are right. Jamie is not deep tone. However, this was the, like, I'm pretty sure the darkest shade that they had. And let me show it to you. Let me show it to you. I'm pretty sure I just broke it. Might have just broke it. So that's what it looks like. This is their deep matte. That this is their deep white. So I'm gonna go in and swatch for obviously swatch purposes. It's right here. You know what? We'll even we'll even go as far as going on like the arm. So it's there, you can see it, but it is like really, really light. And I'm like, okay. So I may give that bronzer to Madison just because it's not, it's not dark enough for me. All right, let's see what else we got. I got, oh, this is my favorite thing in the whole wide world. If you do not have this stuff or you have not tried this stuff, winter is coming get it this is the lano lips 101 ointment this is a multi-purpose super balm i love the strawberry one but i wanted to try this one because it's the same thing it's just not scented um so let's take a look i want to show you the package so you can go run not walk to pick it up can you see that let me turn down my dang lights ah. So this is what the packaging looks like. I don't know what's happening. So that's what the package looks like. And it comes in this little ointment container. This stuff can literally go everywhere. You can put it on like your skin, you can put it on your lips, whatever like dry areas you have, it literally is like an ointment. I literally just, ugh, yes. And I think this one's unscented. As soon as it makes contact with like your skin or your lips, it like melts down. This is literally, it is my absolute favorite ointment throughout the winter on my lips, on my skin, because I get eczema around my mouth. Y'all know that. So this is it. So this is the Lana Lips 101 Ointment Multi Balm, but this is the strawberry scented. I love the strawberry scent. It's not any different. Like I feel like it's the same. The only difference I will say that I really like about this one is it has more of like a lip balm applicator at the top, but and it's strawberry scented. Other than that, like they're exactly the same. These I love them. I got two of them. Two of them. Like, I'm telling you. Well, three, technically. So I got the unscented. If you don't like scents, get the unscented. If you like a little scent, this one works too. They're literally the same for me. It's just one is strawberry and has a different applicator. So, and they're really inexpensive. It's not a very expensive brand. Ooh, and then I got a new brush, which is the Morphe V106. It is a vegan pro brush. So that is exciting. Okay. So this is what the brush looks like. And this is a precision brush so I just really like this I think that this is just like oh it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fire so this blush it's for blush um, you can probably use it for whatever you want I'll probably use it for either setting powder or highlighter but it's very nice it's very sleek I think this is one of their newer if I'm not mistaking like newer items Ooh, Kylie I didn't realize I got a Kylie item so I guess Kylie also came out with some new stuff this is a Kylie Jenner plumping gloss and I got it in 818 bubbly which is clear all right I just wiped off my ointment which is like my favorite so Kylie you better come through I do like the applicator this is more this applicator is more like the Fenty applicator which I really really like too because of how thick it is it's not like one of those really thin ones so I really enjoy that however Fenty heat no plumping lip gloss has been able to beat that all right and it does have a little shimmers in it um but not very many 
So we're gonna put it on, we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see what happens. Let's see, what else do we have? Oh, we have a lot of Jaclyn Hill things. Okay, so I got Jaclyn Hill's, um, it's part of her strawberry. I don't know what this collection was called. I'm not gonna lie to you. Terrible beauty influencer. I know, I know, don't come for me. Do not at me. I haven't been on makeup social media in a while. So strawberry collection, summer collection, I don't freaking know. But this is the uh, Juicy Pencil and this is the, like these are the packages. And I also got the Juicy Lipstick. Just your normal colored pencil and I'll give it a swatch. So that's the pencil, it is really creamy. I really like that, like it went on really nicely. And then we have Juicy and this is a liquid lipstick. Long Wearing Luxe Matte Color. Yeah, so it's a liquid lipstick. A matte. And this is like the same basic container as her other ones. It's just pink. So. Oh, it smells like strawberries. Oh, that's really pretty. I might actually have to put that color on. I'm just waiting for the plumping to start plumping from the Kylie lip gloss. So that is what the color looks like that's so pretty it's like one of my favorite lip colors so i got this for free mm -hmm. another one of my favorite items in the whole wide world this is the under eye hydrating primer i'm not going to open it because i have one open i'm currently using i use this all of the time and i got this for free with buying jaclyn hill products so jaclyn cosmetic products i keep saying jaclyn hill so this is the rem beauty rem rem beauty by ariana grande this is called dream cloud i guess it's like a beauty sponge um honestly i just got it for free because i bought something from them so it's very small but i like that it's kind of shaped like this i'm i'm curious as to how big it gets so the last actual item that i purchased other than my samples is the rem beauty sweetener concealer and it's medium 1w so it's medium 1w i guess that's it oh a whole ass spoon just fell out of it hold up so it comes like a pot concealer it comes with a spoon which if I'm not mistaken, like Mac and NARS, they don't do this. So Ariana, you're already one step ahead of the game. Any one that any pot concealer I've ever bought does not come with a spoon. And it looks like this. Is this like a whipped concealer or is it thick? I don't know. I love that. Oh, it's creamy. And I put my finger in it anyways, even though she gave me a spoon. Oh, that's nice. I like that. So I like that it's super creamy when I put my finger in there but when I put it on my hand, like it's not matte, but it definitely like dries down. Like I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, I'm definitely gonna be doing a makeup look soon. I'm probably gonna put one up. What day am I? I don't know. I don't wanna make any promises. You know how I am. Okay, so that is it for all of my beautiful items. I got samples. Okay, so those are all the things I paid for. Let's see all the goodies they gave me. So I got Dionysus, Dionys, Dionys? I don't know, it's goat milk hand cream set. Um, goat milk body lotion, goat milk hand cream. We love goat milk anything, so score. Oh wow, this is a whole bottle. Pacifica flower moon jasmine peach vanilla hair and body mist. Like this is a whole bottle. Like a full size. This is not a sample. Let's smell it before I spray it on my body. Spray it again. I would definitely spray it in my hair. I would not put this on my body. Only because it smells like hair products. Like when I smell it, I'm like, oh, salon. Like that's what this smells like. So I would definitely use it as like a hair perfume. <laughs> like a hair perfume, if you will. Um, but I, I would not put that on my body. Like it definitely smells like shampoo, but like in a good way. And then I have the Mario Badesco facial spray, which will be going in the trash. You don't, we don't use that here. Um, Ahava, Ahava, uh, A-H-A-V-A, -A -A, Dead Sea Water Mineral Shower Gel. Why? Oh, it smells divine. Okay, I'm really excited to be wearing that. Sweet Spots Lab, and it is a moisture restoring, rich, full body cleanser. What is going on with all these body cleansers? Do we not just use body wash anymore? Did I freaking miss something? Okay, it's fragrance free, it cleanses, and it hydrates for 24 hours. All right, all this Bonnie stuff. I got two more things in here. Happy Dance, coconut milk, 
Happy Dance, head to toe. Apply to damp skin to seal in moisture. Soothe after sun exposure. Use as a hair mask, makeup remover, hand and cuticle conditioner, or whatever inspiration strikes. So what is it? It just says it's head to toe, coconut melt plus CBD, six milligrams of CBD. So I guess this is one of those things like the ointment that I got from Lano Lips that you can use basically on anything, your skin, your hair, your, your nails, your hands, makeup removing. I don't know. I'm going to give it a try. I'm probably going to buy this just to see it. Okay. And then the last thing we have is another body cleanser. Maybe I picked, that's what I picked for my samples. So this is the Grown Alchemist Biological Beauty Body Cleanser. I guess we're just getting super fancy with our body cleansers now, huh? Oh, Man, it's one of those things. If you have not seen my The Detox Market unboxing, my PR unboxing, I'll put it up here for you. I love, I've been using a lot of the products and I love it. Prima, the body oil, I use that every day. I love it. But a lot of it smells like this, like that very organic. You know what I'm talking about? Like they took dirt and water and mixed it together and gave you a body wash. Uh, very much like that. But I'm excited to see, I'm about I'm excited to try it, okay? I'm gonna try on, before I go, uh -huh, because I'm done. That was all of the things. But before I go, I want to try, oh, my drawers are so heavy, they're full of ish. I want so badly to try the Jaclyn Hill lip color. So the Kylie lip gloss, it's supposed to be plumping and I have not felt a single tingle or anything, I mean, I enjoy the lip gloss. Her lip gloss is one of my favorites, like Fenty, Kylie, but honestly, plumping, if it's plumping, I have no idea that it's working. So, pass. Okay, here we go. Juicy is what it's called. Juicy. I do really, really like her lip liners. They're very smooth, they sharpen easily, and I haven't had the same issue I did with Kylie's old ones where they would, if I sharpened it, they'd fall out as I was putting it on. Now, usually I can get a full lip coverage because I do fully line my lips um, with one swatch of her lipstick. So we're gonna see if I can. Ah, oh, it's always so, like, look at that. So pigmented, so much comes out on it. It like covers my whole lips. <laughs> it's a little watery, which makes me think it's gonna be a little dry. It goes on creamy. You know that it's gonna be pretty hydrating and very nice. Um, if it goes on like kind of watery, liquidy, um, it tends to usually be a little bit more drying. We'll see. I mean, most matte liquid lipsticks, who am I kidding, will dry your lips, okay? I know that you see people and they're like, oh my god, this matte liquid lipstick is not dry. It doesn't crinkle my lips up. They're lying. They're lying. If you have lip lines on your lips, I'm not talking about here or here. These. Hmm? If you have those naturally and you don't have filler, which is fine if you do, but if you don't, it's gonna show that because it gets into the grooves. That's a texture situation, not the situation with the lipstick. I thought I would drop that on you guys, but it's fine to have those lines. Like your lips are not gonna be fucking smooth as a wall unless you have filler. But, hello, hello. Do you like this color? It's like hot. It's like a hot red pink. With my curls, do I? Yes, yes. I like it and I like the color. Let me know if you guys got anything from her collection that launched whenever it did because I am not keeping up with it and have no idea. Um, but I love this, like 100%. I love this color. I love this, the lip situation. It's very comfortable, but I really, really love the color. It's one of my favorite colors. It is my favorite color. When it comes to lipsticks, like just all my skin, it's like, yeah. You know, that is my entire Ulta haul. It was not very big, but I am highly, highly excited to play with all the things. So I am gonna be getting a video up of new things I have that I have not messed with. And that's not only gonna include some of the stuff you've seen today, but it's also gonna include this. These are <laughs> Kylie palettes that launched, when did her mini palettes launch? This is the bronze palette and the mauve palette. You, you let me know when those launched because that's when I bought these. So um, Morphe, some Morphe cream blush, it's some Benefit. It's going to be, I'm going to do a video of like all new makeup that I have. More makeup videos are coming. 
I've just kind of been getting back into my groove, but I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. As always, if you did, make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button if you're not already before you leave. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.